I'm Pete Yu. I'm one of the pediatric general and thoracic surgeons at Chalk Children's, and I'm here today to discuss imperforate anus or anorectal malformations with you. Imperforate anus or an anorectal malformation describes a broad spectrum of problems or birth defects associated with the anus and the rectum. In its most simple form, imperforate anus means that your baby is born without an anal opening, and therefore, without surgery to fix that, your baby cannot poop or stool normally. Most commonly, it is diagnosed right after birth. Typically, your baby's doctor will do a physical exam, uh, including uh, looking at the anus. In an imperfect anus, there's no opening or hole there, so it can be quite obvious. Other times when um, physicians are doing a physical exam, they may see an anal opening, but that anal opening may not be in the correct position. Every once in a while, the anal muscles and the anal opening are not lined up. And so in the newborn period, stool can pass through the anal opening, but later on in life, when you want your child to become continent and potty trained, not having the anus and the anal muscles lined up can be a problem for, for control of that area. If we find an anal rectal malformation that is low, meaning we see an opening, perhaps it's just not quite in the right place, uh, then we can operate quite shortly after birth. The exception to that might be if your baby is born very premature or has other associated birth defects that are more life-threatening. Then we may hold off until your baby is bigger and older and stronger. If the anorectal malformation is what we call a high lesion, meaning the anus and the rectum are quite far away from where they're supposed to be, and if there is furthermore an abnormal connection with the urinary tract, then sometimes we'll perform what we call a colostomy. So in, in a colostomy, we make an incision on the abdomen and we take a part of the colon and literally stitch it to the abdominal wall. And in that way, your baby can eat and process food, but the stool, instead of coming out of the anus, will come out of the colostomy and be collected in a little bag that can be changed as frequently as needed after birth. Typically, when your baby is older and bigger and stronger, then we can do the formal repair of the anal rectal malformation. Once your baby has recovered from that surgery, then we can go back and reverse the colostomy to put your baby's intestines in full continuity such that when he or she eats, they're able to stool from their bottom like normal. The long-term prognosis or outlook for this condition really varies. And it varies because, again, there's a big spectrum of anal rectal malformations. Some are not that severe. And in that case, your baby can have an excellent prognosis, uh, be fully continent, and have a, a normal, typical stooling pattern and life. In severe anal rectal malformations or anal rectal malformations that are associated with other severe medical problems, it remains to be seen what the prognosis will be. Your baby may need to be on a bowel management program, meaning medicines to help keep the stool soft and not constipated, and there may need to be further procedures done later in life. Once we are able to see your baby after he or she is born and do whatever studies are needed, we can give you a full and better detailed sense of what the prognosis is going to be. And I have full confidence in all of the pediatric surgeons at Chalk that they are experts in managing this condition.